Welcome back to the first 2023 student edition of Data Thursday. We are excited to share this month's theme, focusing on animals. Today, we are going to share data about zoos. Here we go. Zoo, zoo, zoos. We talk about them all the time. You might ask yourself, but what exactly are zoos? Well, you came to the right place because I am going to give you all the answers. Zoos are places where animals live in captivity for people to view. The word zoo is short for zoological park and contains native animals from all parts of the earth. Various keep visitors from getting too close and zoos have a number of purposes, such as teaching visitors about the habitats and behaviors of animals and protecting endangered species. Zoos date back to ancient times. With collections of animals kept by rulers in China, Egypt, Greece, and Rome. In the 1700s, zoos were set up in major cities of Europe, and today there are over 10,000 zoos worldwide. Zoo food supply research. Zoos feed the smaller animals with their preferred prey, such as for snakes and birds of prey, mice. But for bigger animals, the food must be shipped from a reputable USDA inspected facility to make sure it is safe for the animals. Larger animals like hippo need lots of food. 150 pounds of food containing lots of fruits like watermelon, and of course, some grass. An average large watermelon, which is the size the hippos eat, weighs at a whopping 20 pounds, which means that hippos would have to eat 7.5 or 7.5 watermelons each day to keep them fed with lots of melons. What's the largest zoo in all of Canada? Well, the largest zoo in all of Canada is called Toronto Zoo. It may not have a cool name, but it's actually really big, with nearly over 300 hectares. That's almost as big as Canada's Wonderland. Wow, but can you tell me another more zoo? I'm very glad you asked, because if you didn't, then this data Thursday would be left out with only knowing about one more zoo. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about San Diego Zoo. San Diego Zoo, you know, it's not even that crazy of a zoo. I mean, it's only housing over 12,000 animals, 650 different species. Eh, it's not even that special. Okay, but jokes aside, San Diego Zoo is also really big. Zoos claim to be protecting animals, but are they really? So many animals like tigers and elephants die in zoos each year. In fact, the average lifespan for an elephant in the wild is 50 to 70 years, but in zoos, their lifespans are reduced by more than half of that. Many animals in zoos are killed by zoo staffs because they are surplus animals. So how can you help? You can help by signing petitions that go against violence to animals in zoos and inform others. Zoos are meant to teach people, and you can see on the graph how many people agree and disagree about how much zoos are educating us. Did you know that Ripley's Aquarium is home to over 20,000 animals, and that Ripley's Aquariums are known for their shark exhibits that feature 10-foot sharks and two of the longest underwater tunnels in North America? Wow. Also, did you know for over 90 years, Ripley Entertainment has been the world leader of family fun, built in the foundation of a tiny daily newspaper, cartoon debuted in 1918. The company now appeals to families in front of all ages with entertainment interactions around the world. I bet you didn't know that. We hope that you enjoyed learning about zoos today on this week's student edition of Data Thursday.